In this week's episode, we conclude February Food Month with a bowl of cereal. I share some suggestions for mac and cheese, and we find out what foods Donna likes. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. There is nothing like a good bowl of cereal. It's something you can enjoy any time. It's not just for breakfast. You can have it for lunch, dinner, after work or after school snack, even something you can have in the middle of the night. It's simple. A bowl, a spoon, some cereal, and a little milk. Maybe some fruit. What kind of cereal do you like? Me, I'm partial to Rice Krispies. But I wouldn't say no to a bowl of cornflakes or raisin bran. Mm, sounds good right now. <laughs> Way back when I ate sugar, listen to last week's episode for more on that, I would often have in the cupboard a big box of Captain Crunch or Fruity Pebbles. Or I would have the big bag of Golden Puffs cereal. Ooh, I miss those. <laughs> when I was growing up, we always had cereal in the house. Even when money was tight. Instead of getting name brand Cheerios, which are great, we would get the uh, store brand Toastios, and they were just as good. In fact, just now, I was enjoying a bowl of great value crisp rice cereal <laughs> as a nice afternoon snack. Cereal. It's good. Well, that was kind of a short topic to end February Food Month with. <laughs> I kind of wrote myself into a corner earlier this week. Uh, I started to write about the foods that I had growing up, but it just didn't work out like I hoped. I think I'll save that topic for another episode down the line. So I hope you enjoy my little take on cereal. <laughs> this week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is, What is your favorite cereal? I look forward to reading it. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Here are the top five foods that Donna really likes. She couldn't join us again this week. But she gave me her list, so let's go. Here are Donna's top five favorite foods. Number five, tuna patties. These are actually quite good. We have these at least once a month. <laughs> Number four, hamburgers. Well, specifically, she likes the old-fashioned kind with just the lettuce, tomato, maybe cheese, and mustard. Only mustard. Number three, pizza. Doesn't matter what kind of pizza. She likes pizza. <laughs> Number two, shepherd's pie. Oh, this is a great dish. We even have this at least once a month. It's made with beef and some mixed vegetables. And on top is a layer of mashed potatoes covered in cheese. Oh, so good. And the number one food that Donna really likes, steak and potatoes. Come on, who doesn't like steak and potatoes? 
Well, to end February Food Month, I really don't have a recipe for you to follow this time. Instead, I have a suggestion for a staple good that you already have in your cupboard right now. Boxed macaroni and cheese. Now, by itself, this makes a wonderful side dish for just about any lunch or dinner. Well, by adding just a few things, you could turn that into a wonderful main dish. Uh, for example, brown up some ground beef and add that to your mac and cheese, and you just made cheeseburger macaroni. It's that simple. Want to fancy that up? Crumple in some crispy bacon. You just made bacon cheeseburger macaroni. Heck, crumpled up bacon and macaroni and cheese by itself is quite awesome. Uh, one of the things we like to make for lunch around here is we'll cut up a kielbasa or polis sausage and add that to our mac and cheese. And that's, that's our lunch. Uh, growing up, my dad would cube up and brown some Spam and put in the mac and cheese. Oh, that is that is a great thing to have. Hey, don't turn your noses up at Spam. Spam's quite good. <laughs> and finally, here's a little one that we like here at the household. Tuna. Open up a can of tuna, drain it, and put it in your mac and cheese. You just made tuna mac. That's something we have almost once a month. We just like it. It's like one of those meals you make when you can't think of what to make. Make some mac and cheese, put in a can of tuna, and you're good to go. <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Tuna Mac. So I hope you enjoyed February Food Month. It was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, next week, I'll be back with an all-new episode that isn't food-related. See you then. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please just head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There is now well over 19 hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have a link to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of February 26, 2017, Blog Oklahoma has 916 registered Oklahoma bloggers. <laughs> Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. stuff oh wait i gotta do a podcast now all right i'll finish this later <laughs>